Now, before we get started, you should know that a lot of the features in Reaper have changed recently. So in order to follow along correctly, make sure you're using Reaper 7.19 or newer. So the project set up here, and I've already recorded three takes of a vocal. And we're gonna comp to choose the best pieces of each. But before we do that, I wanna label some sections based on how I like those pieces or phrases. So it's here, take one. You're never here when my tears dry. And let's say I really like this phrase right here. We could put our cursor on that spot, right click, go down here to take markers, and add a take marker at that cursor position. That opens this dialog, we can give it a name. We could also give it a color, let's choose green for good. And we could also add a length to our take markers. Let's just put in one for now, as we can change it later. Now we have a take marker right here, and we can change the length of it by grabbing over here, notice the cursor changes, and we can change the length based on the section we liked. But let's say it's just this phrase. Then we can move on to take two, and let's say this line we thought was pretty bad. We can put our cursor there, right click, go to take markers, add a take marker at our cursor again, we'll give it a name, give it a different color, maybe red, and this time we're not gonna add a length as we could do that later. That adds this marker here, hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just drag from here to here to choose the length we want to use. Then for the third take, let's say we loved it. But instead of putting our cursor right here, we could choose the length with a time selection. Drag from here to say here, right click, go to take markers, and this time we'll choose to add a take marker at the time selection. Give it a name, give it a color, let's choose blue, and the length is already chosen based on the length of the time selection. Now we have a take marker that length, but again, we can still adjust it later like this. Now we can also duplicate our take markers, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just drag it to duplicate them, or delete them, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and just delete them like that. Now, if you don't want to go through the trouble of giving each take marker a name and a color, we can use rank markers instead. Once again, we listened to this line and we thought this section was good. We'll put our cursor right here, go to our take markers, but instead of adding a regular take marker, we can add an uprank take marker at the cursor. And that adds a smiley face or an uprank marker right there, letting us know we liked this line. We can give it length, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, choose the length of that line. Let's go to here. And if we listen to take two, once again, we thought this line was bad. Put a cursor right here, go to take markers, but this time we'll add a down rank take marker at the cursor. And that puts a sad face or an upside down smiley face over here, letting us know we thought this line was bad. Again, we could give it some length, if we move on to the third take, once again, we thought this section sounded great. Once again, we can create a time selection and right click, go to take markers. But instead of adding an uprank take marker at our cursor, we could do it using our time selection, which again, adds it right here. We could adjust a length if we want, but you notice this is an upranked smiley face and this is an upranked smiley face. So we want to differentiate which one we prefer, so we could right click and uprank this take marker even more, giving us two smiley faces. And we could do it again and giving us three. Now we could choose how many levels we want by going to our preferences. Control P on the PC, Command comma on the Mac. That opens up our preferences. We could scroll down to editing behavior. And right over here, we have the take marker ranking levels. It defaults to three up and one down, but we could change it to five up, one down, and even options without any down at all, all up options. But the default is three up and one down. Now, typically when we comp our takes, we split the items by phrase and choose the best take for each. 
let's say we liked this one, and we can right click it, go to our take markers, and instead of adding a take marker at the cursor or time selection, or an uprank at the cursor or time selection, we can just uprank this entire take which adds a smiley face to this whole section based on the length of the take. Move on to this one. Once again, we didn't like it. Go to our take markers. This time we'll add a down rank take marker like this. And then finally, we loved this one. Go to our take markers, up rank this take, and right click it to add a higher rank if we want. So now we know we like this one. This was bad and this one was great. Let's say this one was bad as well. We could right click it and down rank it. Let's do the same with this one. Now we can see we didn't like these three sections. We can use an action to remove them from the project. Let's go to actions, show action list, type in the filter rank, and we can see all the actions that go with ranking and the rank markers. We can clear them all right here. Now they disappear. Or we can use this option right here to delete takes that are down ranked. If we choose this, it removes those takes that were down ranked before and after. And to clean it up, we can go to our options, go to take behavior, and don't display the empty takes. So now we don't see those other takes as the bad takes were removed, and we won't accidentally choose them, and there's less decisions to make. And we could also do this on the fly, whether we're listening back to full takes or even recording them on the fly. Let's go back to the actions, type into the filter rank play, and here are the actions where we could rank our takes based on their play position or the play cursor. The ones I want to focus on are these right here that'll add a down rank take marker or an up rank take marker one second before the play position. I personally prefer two seconds before, so I'm gonna choose these two options. And I'm gonna add a keyboard shortcut to them. For this one, I'll use Control D for down, and this one, Control U for up. So now I can play this back and add up or down rank markers on the fly. And they'll be placed two seconds before I hit those keyboard shortcuts. You're never here when my tears dry. You're never around to see me thrive. When it's my birthday or my day off, you got other plans and can't show up. It's not labeled on the fly. Two seconds before I hit that keyboard shortcut to label or rank each phrase. But the only problem with this is we only get two choices, either up or down. Of course, later we can go back and uprank it more. But what I prefer to do is just cycle through them on the fly. And we could do that with a different action. Set a rank play, let's type in rank mouse. There's an option right here to cycle through up rank or down rank levels for a take marker at the mouse position. Set a keyboard shortcut to this. And now on the fly, I can put my mouse at any spot I want, typically before each phrase, and then just rank each section. So if I put it here, hit that keyboard shortcut, it ranks it up one level. But if I keep my mouse there and hit it again, it goes to two, three, or an upside down smiley face, or down ranked. So you do this on the fly, while listening back, or again, even while recording. So let's give it a shot. You're never here when my tears dry. You're never around to see me thrive. When it's my birthday or my day off, you got a plan. So once again, we labeled each section on the fly just by hitting the keyboard shortcut multiple times to cycle through each choice. Now, so far, we just did this with takes, but this will also work with fixed item lanes. 
Here I've turned the track into fixed item lanes. Here's the three lanes. And here's the lane we're comping into. Here's the choices we're making. We could hit the T key to switch each area. We'll just click in the area to choose that lane. And if we go to the comp area, we could hit the T key and switch the comp areas that way. But we could also use our rank markers within this to rate our takes before we choose them. So if we go back to the actions, instead of searching rank mouse, let's search rank comp. And there's three actions that'll work in the comp areas. This one will uprank it, this one will downrank it, but again, it's a bit more useful to use this one to cycle through the different rank levels without having to change them later. So set a keyboard shortcut to this. And now I can put my mouse in the area, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it rates that comp area with one smiley or two, three, or a down rank marker. So let's say this one's pretty good. Hit the T key to switch to the next lane. And this one's bad. Just cycle through it. And this one was great. So let's give it three up ranks. Then we can move on to the next section. Hit the T key to switch takes. Again, we could do it from up here. And in fact, we could rate it from up here as well, or rate it from anywhere in this area. Hit the keyboard shortcut and it rates this area. And we see the result in the comp lane. So let's say this one was bad, switch lanes and rate it. This one's really good. And this one was okay. Move to the next one, hit the T key to switch takes. Let's say that one was great. This one was bad. And this one was pretty good. So now we rated a bunch of comp areas, which we could also do even if we're viewing one lane. So if we click over here, now we're just seeing one lane, the comp lane. And from here, we can still switch our lanes using the T key, lane one, two, and three in each area. But we could also rate it like this. Put our cursor here, hit that keyboard shortcut, switch it to down rate, one smiley, two, or three, or any option we want. Switch the lane and switch how we rate it. And the benefit of this is when you're working with maybe 15 or 20 passes, you're going to want to go back and recomp many times. And by rating these first, we could skip over these and just listen to this and this or this and this to choose the final comp we're going to use. So rating it beforehand will make this process a lot easier, especially if you're using a lot of passes or lanes to comp from. And we could also do it with lanes on the fly. Here we have three lanes where we haven't started comping yet. And we can listen back to each lane just by soloing each one. And we can use that previous action. So instead of this one, which is probably best for comping, we'll use this one, which will cycle through the options at the mouse position, which is what we used before on the fly. So we'll add the keyboard shortcut back to this. So just like before, we could cycle through the options using that keyboard shortcut. So let's do it on the fly. You're never here when my tears dry. You're never around to see me thrive. When it's my birthday or my day off, you got other plans and can't show up. So just like before with regular takes, we do the same thing with lanes and move on to the next lane and rate each phrase there as well. And just like with takes, this could be done on playback or even during recording. So that's pretty much it. That's the take and rank markers in Reaper 7. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go. Bye.